All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at Wednesday. Now I've already posted the Astro Hours and you can see what we have here in the members area. So with gold, we hit that 2,365 target on the monthly and today is a swing day. All right, for gold. Remember, Monday was, now it's Wednesday. Remember, my swing days are for intraday traders mostly. So on those days, you should get some kind of a sell reaction. Okay, as you can see, the market went from here to here and then closed up and today Wednesday we're up here now on the daily the market can have a bit more room to push up onto that line now that line is quite high all right so I don't have a value there okay in the new version hopefully we'll be able to see that level there as well okay so at the moment that's how it is there's a breakout so we've got room to potentially go up but on the monthly it's pretty much here and if it goes above here, then we'll be heading towards 2,488. And remember, I drew this yesterday, these levels on the monthly. So the long-term perspective is we heading up into this zone here as we cross that level there. All right. So that's how it is. And then we'll have here as well um, 138. So all 137. Oh, 05 in fact let me put that in there we go that should give us a good price as well 2418 2418 also measures up nicely with that 2000 well that's 2488 but still so this is what we've got to look out for if it keeps going up and pushes up and up all right so gold's going nuts it's got room to go crazy as well but Wednesday is a swing day, so we will probably hit a level where we can, you know, sell off as well. Now the hours are here, as you can see, they're in the U.S. session. Asia will also be important. So tomorrow, that is Thursday, Asia session, you can look out for as well. Okay, which is pretty much 2 a.m. Our time, my time, that is. Okay. So that's gold. If we head up, selling again is okay. Um, it's a one day, two day, three day. We've got also, if you remember, Thursday news, Wednesday news. Today's Wednesday, so we've got news coming out. So that could be also you know, a possibility for the market to push it down. If it does come down, um, be careful for 74 that will be a buy level 2325 which is just there okay so that's a target there and on the weekly this zone is a support zone as you can see and that's how it paid out yesterday all right it's just support from there all right so the market dipping down and then going back up is okay. Selling from the highs is okay. Don't muck around in no man's land. Yesterday that was 2365. Market sold at Astro Hours. And then they bought at Astro Hours as well. So could have played both sides of that at the Astro Hour, at the high level, which I spoke about, and at the low level here as well. Okay. So that's that. Let's take a look at Euro Dollar. Now the same kind of thing with Euro Dollar, remember. I said this could break out, so we have to be careful with this one. With the euro dollar, I also gave you a price target, which was 1.0935, which is up there somewhere. Yeah, there it is there. Okay. Now, because we've got news happening, okay, so we have to be careful with that one. If you recall, okay, the market is still under there, so... It's closed under there, just on the line there. So this still has a potential to go down, all right, with the news. Okay, so if we have good news coming out, they could just push this down, bring it all the way back down into this middle zone here. Okay, so draw your middle zone if you haven't already done so. There, all right, so we could dip back down right into here with the news, so be careful levels for that is going to be 45.39 that's 1.0813 1.0775 so 
So, oh eight thirteen is there. That's your weekly pivot. Oh seven seven five is going to be a bit lower. That's going to be another target down. Yeah, oh seven seventy five. Okay, which is there? I can get rid. Well, do I need to get rid of that? There is also here thirty four. 0738 so you can keep an eye out for this as well 0738 down here okay but the weekly pivot is looking good on the weekly as you can see that target 56 you already know about it so if it hits that level that's a sell level okay and we've got lower highs happening here there's a bit of a squeeze happening here lower high lower high lower low as you can see so Pushing down is, for me, I think is a logical option to kind of go down from here. This is the monthly. Okay, so that A, B, C down here is still on the cards, and that's how I'm thinking it should happen. Okay, let's take a look at SP500. SP500 right on the line there. Remember, we said we'd get to this zone here, and that was where I... yesterday let's tighten this up okay see that was a target there okay so this is yesterday now if you take a look at yesterday it would have been your astro hours there i think if you take a look at yesterday so yesterday being tuesday 4 30 that's your 4 30 there bang sell off and that's your 545 there and we had what do we have we had 535 so that's your 530 535 in there and then 645 that's your 645 there okay so pretty close and then we had the closing going all the way into there this was not an astro hour this was an astro hour 11 o'clock okay so target i said was 11 45 there's your 11 45 they're closing basically all right so market buys goes up into the target zone now what now daily now remember yesterday was a swing day for this so as you can see market was pretty violent okay that's a big fall off it didn't go any higher than that okay so there's a bit of pressure today they're going to be waiting for the news so today's hours are going to be important once it finds direction at 5 35 40 let's say we're going to have a bit of a surprise move until 7 should find direction and then they should push it through okay so you put you need to look out for today because of the news 230 all right so 230 is going to be important for us 540 is going to be important for us i'll bold those out okay uh, and once the market finds direction it should head to the target Okay, which is going to be the closing. All right, and that's how it is. So with SP500, I'm thinking, um, you know, we might short this. Now, if it breaks out, obviously, all right, you don't want to stand in front of a PST breakout. As you can see, that is right on the line. Okay, if it breaks out, just go with the breakout. And 69 is going to be a target at 5,321. So 5,321 is going to be where we're looking to get to 5,000. Now it's a bit out there, but if it breaks out, it could also get there in Asia. So 5,320. All right, so you can just target that zone there because on the daily, that's a PSD level. And if it does break out, um, we'll start heading in that direction now obviously previous week's high 
previous month's side these are going to be your target zones as well so be careful because sometimes they'll go in there and then they'll close it back in and then we'll have a red day if we have a red day then you know the following day we might do a sell setup so just be mindful on that okay if you learn technical analysis from me you know what i'm talking about so just make sure um you know be mindful for the news now before the news if the market comes down here at 240 230 240 um that's one spot if it comes down at 540 okay then that's a nice spot because from 540 to 7 we're going to have a fast sudden move happening okay and that might continue until eight o'clock and then that might continue then into 10 20 11 40 now if you're trading sp 500 make a mental note today 525 and 10 45 they're important for sp 500 only all right so just make a note of that in your books let's take a look at dow jones nasdaq bitcoin now with the dow jones let's see where we're at i'm just pouring a bit of coffee there and let's see here we are all right once again astral was working magic we're here now with dow jones remember i said this is a level this is the mark this is a market hit this level so we have an opportunity here if this breaks down we've got head and shoulders which should bring us back down into this zone if it breaks down it hasn't broken down yet so if the market goes above this level and starts to go up okay then we've got 55 at the top 39332 okay 39332 386 39332 it's going to be just around here okay and then 38 5 is around there okay so we might hit that level two so be mindful on the weekly this is the good buy kiss which is a 68 39 509 okay that's way out there but 39 509 is a beautiful sell spot because it's a good buy kiss on the weekly pst so if it does this this week okay we're on wednesday if it does this with the news tomorrow this is also good 39509 is good all week because it's on the weekly okay come on slightly all right let's call it there the only drama is 39509 is going to be out there and that's going to you know that's going to mess up the head and shoulders so we'll see how this thing pans out okay and that's how it is um if you want to go long on this one to the upside if a breakout happens um, on the daily you can at 40 remember i gave this level yesterday and it got there and that's a price target and an and an astro hour remember so that kind of like pushed up so today on the daily is that red is 40.22 and that's a price of 38,720 38,720 which is there Thirty-eight, seven, twenty. All right. So this is also a level where the market can dip into to push back up. It hasn't broken the high of the previous day, as you can see. Uh, and this is yesterday's high. Okay, so we haven't really broken that high yet. And the market took a dip down. So it depends on the news, how you position yourself. Okay, so be mindful. Well, I said that the SP500 video is going to apply for this as well. 
during those hours. So from, um, you know, from 5.35, from 5.40 onwards, market should, you know, make a sudden move towards like seven o'clock and then, you know, carry on basically. If it finds direction, it's gonna keep pushing. NASDAQ. NASDAQ, here we are, we're still in the box, as you can see. I talked about this level today, that's gonna be 57, 18, 289. So 18, yesterday we were up here, today 18, 289 is there. All right, on the weekly, you already have a level, I think. Yeah, that's a bit too high on the weekly, but 18,356 is here as you can see that's a price on the good bike is on the price okay so if we head up here if we sweep here come back close low next week will be sellers as well all right so that's how you can play this one out indices looking pretty much same now the trend as you can see is up so this could be a consolidation before a break to the upside it's possible okay because um well, that's how it is. The other option is that this could be consolidating for a reversal. Okay, so we want to do is trade on the edges. Okay, so if we start to fall down as well, monthly we've got room to come into 60, which is 16,752, 767 zone down here. So we'll have to sit tight and see how things pan out. But you can see things are looking for some kind of a retracement to happen like a three bar retracement, bang, bang, bang down here, like we had here. Okay, so we need like one, two, three bar retracement to, you know, for things to happen and we'll see how things go with that. In the meantime though, that's your zone price levels. If the time is right, price is right, you can think about a reversal at those hours. Just don't trade in the news, try to trade after the news as you can see. That's going to be, the news is at 3.30 anyway, right? So from 2.30 until 5.40, we're going to get somewhere. And that 5.40 is going to be you know, important for you. 5.25, 5.40 is where you want to be looking to trade, okay? If you're going to trade the indices. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. So, Bitcoin. Now, remember with Bitcoin. All right, Bitcoin with a swing day was Tuesday. That's your Tuesday swing day. So, Monday we did have a high, but Tuesday is where the fall happened. So, a pump and a dump motion there. What to do? All right, so here we are. Now, this zone we talked about before I can get rid of this zone now. That's where they touched, all right? So that's the high which I marked in before the rectangle. So it's broken this level, closed under it. So if we go back up, selling again from this zone could be an option. On the daily, let's see where we're at. Okay, yeah, as you can see, we're in this, we're still in, now we're back in the triangle. Okay, so it's sweeping stops, as you can see. And I did say be careful for this yesterday because it's tricky because they sold off quite a bit there. Okay, so going back up here and the market selling off is, you know, very much possible and you're at the highs there. So what to do? If the market goes back up, can you sell? Well, yesterday I did say you can also sell from these levels. So now we've got this set up here. Yesterday we had the channel top and the targets there and the targets were done. So the market sold off. Okay, if you take a look at yesterday's video, you'll see what I mean. Now we've got a new setup with this red line here. 63 is 73613. 73613. If it gets up there, that's your new 73613 is going to be your sell zone. All right, so just somewhere around there. Okay, 73613. That's the thing. All right. Um, so if we go back up also into this zone, technically, okay, technically, let's 
see. Technically, it's sellable there as well. Let me just check it out. Um, here. All right, so this is also a zone which the market can sell at. All right, so that's that zone there. Um, daily pivot at Astro Hour is not a bad spot to sell. As you can see, got a harsh move down. I did talk about this level yesterday. So if you bought this yesterday from here, you still should have been okay. It's enough to cover your stop and your trade. But with Bitcoin, as you know, it's a bit tricky. We're still in that triangle. So the lower end of the triangle may be where they'll be buying. If we dip back down into here, you're okay to go long. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Too many lines, not good. All right, so that's your buy zone here. You just want to make sure to see that the low, if, if it comes down and they buy, this needs to be higher. So they need to buy from a higher level than this. Okay, so be mindful for that. You can also adjust your line to this. Why? Because this is a skim. Okay, stop hunting basically. And this is where the points meet. Okay, so the buy needs to be, if it breaks below that, you know, don't buy until the market falls all the way back down here again. Okay, so be mindful if you're trading Bitcoin. That's how it is.